Black Lightning takes on an army of vampires. The vampires took over the world, and Black Lightning was too late to be there for his family. The day Metropolis fell, the sun ended up getting blotted out. And as he arrived home to an empty building, take away a man's family, and what more hope does he have? He tracked down their whereabouts all the way out to the woods. The small glimmer of hope still lies within his heart, but he finds Flamebird there instead. He can already tell who the culprits are, but clutched in her hands, he finds a message of where his family can be. As he wonders if this is all but just a trap, a man like Jefferson must see with his own eyes if this is truly a trap. But he notices that the handwriting which matches Lynn. But why San Francisco if the eyes that are lurking in the woods are here right now? As he finishes up burying Hawkfire, he gets a knock at the door from a familiar face. As he notices that Looker has changed sides. She came here not looking for trouble but to recruit him. As they used to be teammates, he can no longer be alone. He replies by saying, I actually had a priest live down the road here. As she mocks him by saying, what, to read you your last rites? No, to bless the underground well. <laughs> Turning on the sprinklers with holy water. And to finish them off completely, he turns on the lightning. Frying the army in one bolt. But Looker catches him off guard with a single shot. She might be on a different team, but she still has her same old habits. As he stakes her through the chest with the cross. The battle might be over, but hope still rests in his heart to see his little girls one more time. So it is worth the risk, even if it is a trap. For a man's family is more valuable than the warmth of the sun.